Virginia Governor Ralph Northam and the city of Charlottesville today declared states of emergency for the Commonwealth and the city to address the potential impacts of events in and around the city of Charlottesville and outside of Washington, D.C. on August 10th through the 12th. Multiple events are planned to mark the anniversary of the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, which resulted in the deaths of 32-year-old paralegal Heather Heyer and Virginia State Police Troopers Lieutenant H.J. Cullen III and Trooper Pilot Burke M.M. Bates. These states of emergency declarations will enhance planning and cooperative response efforts that have been in development since March. A state of emergency is an administrative tool that allows state agencies to perform actions outside of the scope of normal operations in order to ensure that all necessary resources and assistance are provided as quickly as possible to local government and Virginia's residents. In a statement today, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam said, Virginia continues to mourn the three Virginians who lost their lives in the course of the demonstrations a year ago. We hope the anniversary of those events passes peacefully. The Commonwealth State of Emergency Declaration mobilizes and funds state resources from the Virginia Department of Emergency Management, Virginia State Police, Virginia Department of Health, Virginia National Guard, and other state agencies that will be deployed to Charlottesville and Northern Virginia. It also allocates $2 million to pay for this response and authorizes the Virginia National Guard to assign forces to assist in security efforts. Breaking through will have a reporter on the ground in Charlottesville on the anniversary of the deaths of Heather Heyer and Virginia State Troopers Lieutenant H.J. Cullen III and Trooper Pilot Burke M.M. Bates. We will also have a reporter in D.C. operating in and around Lafayette Park on Saturday and Sunday where Unite the Right Rally organizer Jason Kessler is scheduled to hold what he calls a white civil rights rally, which we have determined is a nicer way of saying white supremacist rally. In the Breaking Through newsroom, Theodore Whitelow for Breaking Through.